what's up everybody welcome to the channel today i'm going to show you exactly how to synchronize your stream deck with the youtube music desktop app and then if you do use some elgato products like the wave link like you see here on the screen i'm going to show you how to create a nice filter effect uh, to fade in and fade out music that way your stream sound 100 professional and that way you don't have to sit there and smash that mute button. Here we go. All right, let's talk about how you can get your stream deck to connect with your YouTube music desktop app. Obviously, the first thing you need to do is have your YouTube music desktop app. Go ahead and go ahead, go to uh, YouTube music, download the app, the desktop version. That way this is on, you're not running from a browser source. Then what you need to do is you need to click the little colorful keyboard. You need to go to plugins. And then you can type in YouTube. And it'll bring up everything that's connected with YouTube. What you want to do here is install the YouTube Music Desktop Connector. Once that's installed, go ahead and close that out. It's going to come over to your deck here. And then on the right hand side, you have all your add ons that you have downloaded. You will see the YTMD connector that is your YouTube music desktop. All of these, your play, pause, your next, previous, like, dislike, mute, volume down, volume up, track info, all this stuff can be dragged over to your stream deck. Okay, a couple things what you need to do. Your host will be empty. Your password will be empty. It should put port. As soon as you add your play pause over, what you need to do is you need to connect your host to the YouTube Music Desktop app. If you go over to the Music Desktop app, you click on the little button. Let me show you again. The little button right here it says remote control you'll first need to enable the remote control and then when you come here you'll see this your ethernet which is your ip address is what you're going to copy and paste into the host okay go back to your youtube app click on your settings button and then what you're going to do is go down to integration and then you're going to enable the remote control. When you enable the remote control, it's going to come up with a password to protect the remote control. What you do is you copy your password for your remote control into the Stream Deck password. Pretty simple. The port will already be there. It'll manually put that in for you. Don't have to worry about anything like that. Once you do that, hit save. You're good to go. All right, now that your Stream Deck is connected to your YouTube Music Desktop app, what we're going to do is we're going to synchronize this with Wavelink if you have Wavelink. If you don't have Wavelink, you can simply use the drop downs here and put in a next and a previous. Name them next, whatever you want. You can name this one back. Uh, you can take your track info. Put it here as you can see we are listening to oh just change start songs bridges by stream beats stream beats if you don't know what that is youtube friendly music created by a streamer free to use it's on youtube go ahead and check them out um do whatever you want with it it's just not going to get copyrighted put it that way all right if you click this button, it will open up this song in the browser. So I highly just recommend this being on your stream deck. Easy for you to see what song is on if you don't have multiple monitors um, and you're not looking at your, your app or have to alt tab. Right. Leave those the way they are right there, even if you have the uh, Wavelink software. What we're going to do, if you have the Wavelink software, you're going to click on the store again, 
colorful keyboard. We're going to go to, to uh, plugins. We're going to type in Wavelink. We're going to see the Wavelink by Elgato plugin. Go ahead and install that. Once that's installed, go ahead and close. Then on the right hand side, you're going to see Wavelink. What we want to do is we want to take these input actions and we want to place these input actions in all four. I personally like up and down. You can make it go sideways if you want. Uh, but we, we're going to go up and down vertically. We want to take those input actions, put those all in like this. Very first one, what we want to do is we're going to call this fade down. Next one, fade up. So the fade down, what we're going to do is we're going to click set. We're going to change our input to the music channel. This is going to be fading two seconds. And we're going to have this fade down to zero. We're going to go up to the fade up. We're going to do the same thing. Hit music. We're going to go fade two seconds. And let's just leave that at, let's say, 50%. Figure out what audio works the best for your stream, where it's not too loud. And this is going to give you a nice fade in, fade out for FPS games when you're going in. And then if you're just chatting, whatever you need to cut out the music works really well. Next one, you're going to go down to underneath fade down. You're going to click the next input action. What we want to do is we want to click this as a just. Click our music input. Under icon style, what we're going to do is we're going to go to slider vertical. And we're going to copy the exact same thing on the next one down, slider vertical. Now, this slider vertical top one needs to be set at plus five or whatever increments that you want to raise your volume at. I like to use this nice little plus five. It seems a little seamless. It's pretty nice. It's default. The next one down is going to default to plus five. What we want to do is we want to drop this to a minus five. And now you see that they connect. So we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing on this side. We're going to go plus five. Music. Slider. Negative five. And now these are now connected. So when you click fade up, it's automatically going to go up. When you click fade down, it automatically fades it out. Now, if you click these buttons here, it will raise them. Okay, so if you don't want to go, if you don't want to set a different, like a, a set level, you can just click these down and up and your music will turn up. Now, let's go ahead and turn that off. Uh, one thing you want to do in your Wavelink software is you want to, I suggest linking the faders together. You have your headset and you have your stream headset stream audio shall i say this button right here if you don't know this will connect this together if you don't connect it together and you plus fade up you'll see only my headset so if you don't link these together then it goes off to your stream um is just muted the whole time then your viewers can't listen to the music. So click these together. Now, right sync. Okay. That's something that you can use to utilize how you can put this in and get some cool effects to go in and out. Uh, you can also add just a, a, an effects action um, play around with this thing. You can act if you have uh, filters, any of that kind of stuff. You can you can get 
some pretty cool stuff in here. Um, hardware actions. Uh, you can just set hardware. Just play around with it. But this is how you create a cool little filter. Have fun with it. Um, if you guys want to know a little bit more on the stream deck, adding in other things, let me know. Otherwise, please like, subscribe, leave a nice comment, and I will catch you guys.